All right, let us continue on our journey here. I think I actually want to grab a blue herb real quick. Um, just in case. And I can even just, honestly, just combine it with that one. That's probably fine. Uh, but I think that's pretty much all we need. I might make some acid rounds. Um... You know what? I think we're okay. I think we'll be alright with what we have. Now watch me say that and I'm completely wrong. Anyway, let's move on. Let's go get the uh, last t two plugs, I think. And that'll uh, give us our ticket out of the sewers. Alright, so we gotta go back down here. Remember where I grabbed that key? Actually, I have to go back here. And this place gets messy. Okay. This place is creepy. Indeed it is. So we're going to have three of those big guys coming up. And in a speed run, I would usually try to just run past them. But we're going to kill them here. So we're going to hit them with a flame round, and then we're going to shoot them with the, the uh, SMG. That should pretty much take care of them. On hardcore, these guys are incredibly difficult to kill. This guy's a little tougher. Can't see a thing. Is he dead? He's still alive. Honestly, probably should have made more SMG ammo, but it's all right. And as I say that, I get some more. This guy, we're just gonna sneak past him for now. Not too worried about him until we come back out. All right. I believe there's another herb up here. Yes, there is. I was 100% right. It was a complete guess. Alright, so there is our next weapon. The spark shot. And I actually probably won't ever use this thing. I'm going to grab it. But I won't ever use it because I absolutely hate it. But anyway, there's one of our plugs we need. And to get that, we actually have to pull that out. And then put this here. This is actually, we can actually examine these, and you can see this is the Rook plug, and then this is the Queen plug. And so we need to put the Queen plug here. What the hell was that? Uh, so then we got this plug, and if we examine that, that's going to be our King plug. Oh, it's this guy. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. Are you dead? I think he's dead. Alright, then. Alright, so we gotta take our king plug, put that guy in there, and that's going to allow us to grab the spark shot. Honestly, not sure why you would unlock this door. It's not really necessary. But you can unlock it, so I always do anyway. So we're going to grab that plug back. We'll grab our queen plug back. Now, this room, actually, the first time I played, actually took me a little bit to figure out. But it's not all that complicated. So what you need to do is put the queen plug in here. And then run in here. 
And we're gonna put the king plug in here. And then we run back out here. We'll grab our king plug. And then grab the king plug. And there you go. Now we can get out of this place. And that's basically it. That's what we're now going to do the plug. Uh, I forgot an herb in there. Oh, whatever. It was a blue herb. This guy's going to be out here again, isn't he? Is he? He's right there. Hey, buddy. There's no way he's dead. Maybe he is dead. Uh, hello? There's no way. Dude just ran away. Okay, never mind. I don't know why I use this thing. Oh. Alright, well, that worked a lot better than I expected it to. Interesting. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. There's actually one more coming up, but we could dodge this guy. We just come up here. Wait for him to come out. And we can just go back down and go right around him. Easy as that. back to the main area do the plug challenge now this is the point where this guy will fucking ambush you if he's not dead will pop out of there scare the shit out of you I for always forget to kill him and so it happens every time he'll just come out and scare the hell out of me So now we have everything we need to complete this puzzle. So the way it works is we pull this out of here. And if we examine that, that is the pawn plug. So the pawn is going to stay there. The queen plug is going to go here. King plug. First of all, we'll take that guy. Because he was in there. The bishop plug. And the king plug gonna go right there right next to the queen and we go over here and we're gonna take out this plug which is the knight knight goes of course in this spot where it says it goes and the rook plug will go here in the middle and then the bishop plug will go on the far left Again, that's another one of those puzzles that's incredibly difficult to do right, sure. if you don't know the solution to it. Uh, so I'm not even going to bother with this. Don't need it. Um, so we're going to have enough herbs coming up for another health, for another bit of health. Um, I think I'm going to... I'm gonna make some more pistol rounds. Whoops, it's not done. Uh, and then I am going to go ahead and make some acid rounds. I'm actually gonna make some more of those. Uh, if I have more gunpowder to make them, yes I do, I have plenty of them. Uh, and combine that should be good enough and then i'm just going to use if i have another one of those i'm just going to make some more smg rounds and we should be good to go with this hopefully we're good to rock and roll with what we got i'm sure we're not but anyway let's go because we do have a boss fight coming up Alright. 
just going to combine these three herbs. I did not want to examine game. I wanted to combine. I think it's one, two, and four. Indeed it was. Can't believe it. I never remember that. Okay. It is incredibly dark in here. So usually what you're supposed to do is run around and completely dodge his arms, but if you stay right here, he'll actually just never hit you. It's insane. You just run in place right here and he'll never hit you. It's ridiculous. It's a little bit broken, but it's pretty good for a speed run. Especially hardcore if you don't want to get hit. Alright! We'll just run past him. This is a fairly straightforward and easy boss fight. If you don't know what you're doing, again, it's another one of those things where it's super frustrating if you don't know what you're doing, but it's generally... It's a super easy boss fight, and he almost just hit us. Do some damage to him here. I don't want to do too much damage to him yet. Oh, he's after us. Back over here. Come on, buddy. That should have stunned him, no? Maybe that stunned him? It did not. Wow. Alright then. Can't believe it he hit me. The crane might work. Apparently didn't do any damage. Uh oh. Get away. There we go. Now he's stunned. So now I can hit this. Up. He's gonna get smacked by the container. So now we gotta reset the container. If you do do enough damage to him, you can actually uh, kill him with one shot from that. It takes a lot of extra ammo. Be careful where you try to stun him, too. All right. Time for so as long, long as he doesn't get up, that should be the end of the fight. And there we go. Super easy fight when you know what you're doing. the first time I played through this, it took me a good bit to figure that out. But, uh, it's forever. super easy to do once you know how to do it. We got more pistol ammo. We're running a little low on the pistol ammo, aren't we? I don't think I even took actual damage from him. I think I got stunned, but I don't think I actually took actual damage. So, uh, I did pretty good in that fight. Very surprised about that, honestly. Great. 
Sherry. Claire? Sherry, are you all right? And she's infected. What are you doing? I'm here to help. Sherry's been implanted. She can't be saved. Are you fucking kidding me? You're her mother. Get in here! You don't understand. Huh. William is still out there, and if I don't stop him... This conversation is over! Wait! Wait! I, I can treat her. In my lab. It's not far away. Mommy? There's not enough time. Millions of lives are at stake. Yeah, you don't say. Sherry, mommy loves you, sweetie. Goodbye. Are you fucking kidding me? Sherry, don't worry. I will get you whatever you need, okay? Well, why are you doing this? Because I care. Well, isn't that sweet? This game has some emotional moments to it. All right. Ned said her lab's not far. Wait, that cable car. Yep, remember the cable car from earlier? It's exactly where we're going. Hold on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. Just right around the corner here. Almost there, Sherry. We're almost there. Oh, good. The cable car. Here we go. Because of her bracelet, we can now get in. Sherry, okay? You're gonna be just fine. Okay. Better check everything. There's no turning back. Alright, so once I pull this lever, it is going to take us to the lab, which is the final section of the game. There's no going back. So let's do it. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. Alrighty. Final destination, yes. Hey. Are you okay? Oh yeah, she's great, Claire. Just fine without me. So I came along and got you all sorts of trouble. <laughs> I love Claire. I have something yours. I don't want it. Really? Why not? It's so pretty. Uh, it's from my mom. For my birthday last year. Uh, all I really wanted was for her to be home more. I know it seems like your mom doesn't care, but... Seems like it, huh? Sherry, come here. Hey, hang in there, okay? Now, arriving at Nest. Alrighty. It's okay. I've got you. Come on.
Okay. Let's get on in there. Uh, I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Look okay, at there's three doors. This is insane. Why is there three doors? Doesn't even make sense. Alrighty. Welcome to Nest. In underground Umbrella Corporation Laboratory. Pretty fantastic, huh? This is my favorite part of the game. It looks so cool. I love the lab part. gotta be something here antiviral agent that's it that's gotta be it hmm. hey hey sherry i gotta go you stay right here though okay i'll be back soon i promise all right we've got the id wristband Important nest-wide alert. Due to an incident in the north area, all nest personnel are immediately to are immediately use the devil antiviral agent on themselves. Devil is the only way to prevent G mutagen. If you have been infected with the G virus, I said G mutagen, G mutation, excuse me. If you have been infected with the G virus, seek help immediately to target and destroy the G cells in your body. This email is automatically generated in the event of an emergency. Please do not reply to this message. Alrighty then. In other words, shit hit the fan down here. Shit hit the fan down here majorly. Hey look, we got some flame rounds. Nap room log. Toby entered at 344, left at 731. Sarah entered at 451, left at 708. Walt entered at 1203, left at 1336. Anthony entered at 1205, left at 1248. Cyril entered at 1801, left at 2021. Desmond entered at 1804, left at 1958. And Wayne Lee entered in, at 2016 and never left. Alrighty then. ID wristbands. This research facility uses the latest security technology in order to ensure employee safety and efficient business practices. In order to enter and exit the facility and to operate certain equipment, employees must use an ID wristband. There are three levels of access, visitor, general staff, senior staff. Authorization is granted based on an electronic chip inside the wristband. The wristband access level can be changed by simply inserting a different electronic chip. Visitor wristbands can be given to family members of employees. Please inquire at reception for further details. Yes, because that's totally 1998 material right there. That's 100% 1998 technology. Makes perfect sense. So anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed. Hope you are enjoying so far. We are starting to get to the end of Claire's campaign, but it won't be over yet. No, because we have Leon B to play after this, so... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. Absolutely love this game. I'm having a ton of fun recording it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light